PSVR2 controllers are now compatible with the Vision Pro. I just got these. Let's see how easy it is to actually link them up with the Vision Pro and test out a few games with these controllers. First thing we want to do is go into Bluetooth. I'm going to hit the PlayStation and Share button at the same time. I'm looking for the light to start flashing right here. There we go, left controller. All right, that looks good. Same thing on this one, PlayStation button, and then uh, this mirrored long button. Okay, flashing light. Right controller. Okay, we should be good to go. Now, notice I'm actually able to scroll with the joystick here, either joystick. O button does nothing, but I can actually use the trigger and drag around the interface or exit out here. See, I can actually just move around the interface now with these controllers, which is great. Uh, let's go to ping pong club to start. All right, let me see if I can recenter this view a bit. Great, let me go ahead and put these straps on. Safety first, and let's try to practice. And here we go, we got the ball in the right hand, we got the controller in the left. It seems like pretty good tracking as we kind of flip it around, move around. Of course, the controller itself is acting as the grip, and then I see the paddle kind of as I expect it to be. Let's hit a few and see how it feels without looking into any settings yet. All right, honestly, already it's feeling a little bit un unnatural. Hmm. All right, we're getting there. Just takes a little bit of time to get used to. I've played a lot of ping pong in the 11 app on the Quest 3. I will say that just feels more natural, but this isn't too bad. Ooh, notice that too, as I look closely at the controller, I, I can actually see the handle of the paddle. If we can actually change our environment, that's pretty cool. All right, let's look at some settings for this game. I am left-handed. Ooh, I don't know if controller haptics were on. Okay, so now we can really try to change some of these uh, little differences with the paddle. It's pretty easy to change, actually. It's very intuitive. Notice how the paddle right here, the Z angle, it feels like it's kind of too far down. That's more how I would hold my paddle. This feels more natural. Let's see if I'm able to play a bit better after making these fine tuned adju adjustments. Oh, and then height of the table. This feels about right. It's already feeling better after making these slight adjustments. All right, that's enough of this. As you can see, I still definitely need some work to get used to uh, the ping pong with the controllers in Vision Pro. I'm used to playing with 11 on Quest 3, and I will say that just feels better. It feels more natural, uh, but let's try another game. All right, this is Pickle Pro, also meant to be played with the PlayStation VR 2 controllers. Welcome to Pickle Pro. To play an unranked match with rules, select start match. This game does also have left and right dominant. You can change that. Uh, as a left-handed player, I always have to look at those settings. And this is pretty neat, actually, how it has this kind of like virtual space that I'm playing into. While I can still see on my side of the net, it's uh, my real space. So the paddle, again, tracking is great. Like no problem as I twist it, spin it. Frame rate even on the tracking looks good. The angle of the paddle seems like it's a little bit too far this way, but let's hit a few and then see if we can change some settings. Let me turn the volume up a little bit.
Oof. Oh man, I don't know about this. This is feeling a little bit unnatural. I want to stop this match and take a look at some settings. So you just saw in the ping pong game that there are a bunch of settings in terms of fine tuning the placement of the paddle in your controller in your hand. I'm not seeing that in this game. I'm just going to have to get used to it. I'm going to try to play a few more points and then just see how we do here. Oh man, I was even trying to lob that one a bit. Oh, okay, there's a lob. This guy is not very good. All right, this is starting to feel a little more natural. Any of these virtual paddle type games, when you're used to playing in the real world, it's just not going to feel the same. And you kind of have to get used to the virtual method of playing. Because the physics, everything is just going to feel a little bit different. And again, this is my very first time playing with the controllers, playing this game. That's feeling a bit better. Let's see if we can actually make this a harder... Oh, he's playing on easy. Let's make it hard. Oh, that was in. Alright, he seems better. I think, is he wearing actually different sunglasses? That's, that's pro player sunglasses right there. Let's see if I can volley. Alright. I'm gonna try one more time to volley, and then we'll get out of here. Kitchen volley? I don't know, I was standing behind the kitchen. I didn't want to hit this thing. It is nice to have that mixed reality, of course, of course, so he's virtual, but when I'm playing in my space, I know where things are in my environment. All right, there was a nice volley. All right, let's get out of here. So again, that was Pickle Pro. I mean, it just takes some time to get used to. If you play Pickle, if you play Ping Pong, these apps, you're not gonna immediately just feel completely natural in any sort of virtual reality gaming environment. Um, even with 11 on Quest 3, it took me some time to get used to it. But I will say, after playing a couple of these games, going back to the Quest 3 with those controllers, those tracking, it's probably more of a software thing. Like that game is just very good with its physics. These games might need some work but the controllers themselves seem to be working quite well. Now, let's try a shooter. So this one, I gotta disconnect this controller. I believe if I long press the PlayStation button, this light should turn off and we'll be disconnected. There we go. We can see the controller, my gun, it's placed exactly where I would expect it to be placed. That looks really good. As I go back and forth, it feels good. Like, yes, tracking again is good. No problem there. Uh, place a portal. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, we've got a portal. Okay, that makes sense. So we've placed a portal here. Now my hand actually doesn't occlude over this portal, which is a little annoying, but... Oh, notice the bullet hole on my wall. That's pretty cool. Ooh, gross spider. So let's walk around over here, grab this. Oh, gross. The shooting actually works pretty well. I love having these bullet holes on the wall. Those, that's some good graphics right there. I like that. Reload with the grip. And then we got all these things flying around, crawling around. The aiming feels accurate. Oh, 
it's nice to see uh, these types of games starting to come out for Vision Pro. Once you do have these controllers available, it does add a lot more flexibility for developers in terms of what they can offer. Because of course, before with hand tracking, you could maybe put like a gun in your hand or something, but the whole trigger mechanism with hand tracking is just never gonna be accurate enough. I'm out of ammo. Oh, spider. I don't like the spiders. All right, that's a little taste of this game. Let's just do a quick look at the uh, bonus mode for Butterfly on this one. All right, we just built a portal over here for some kind of butterfly catching. Oh, so here we can just catch butterflies. This one, I feel like you actually could probably just use hand tracking, but uh, just want to show this other mode for this game. We'll catch a couple more butterflies and then we'll close this out. So that was just a quick look at a few of the games that work for the PSVR 2 controllers. There are a few more games available uh, that work with the controllers that I'll be testing out later. And uh, of course, more will continue to come out for Vision Pro. But so far, controllers do seem to work well in terms of tracking. I think the software on some of these games could be a little bit better to feel a little bit more accurate in terms of the physics of these paddle sports, for example. But I think it's a great start. This is going to open up a lot of options for developers in the future. If there are any games that I didn't try out that you guys are really interested in having me demo, let me know in the comments uh, and I'll see if I can try them out. All right. Thanks for watching.